say you'll, be, it. you'll become a diva, though, then. <laughs> you'll become a diva. Yeah, I could be the GC. I don't know how she does her hands, but does G-C? she do her? The Who's GC, that? the Gemma Collins. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but... Mm. Come a di- you'll become a diva if you did that. <laughs> I wish I could. So we are back now and it was a pretty decent day, I got 7 pickups in total, so I won't ramble, I won't do any of that, I will just get on and show you the first item. So I'll go for the most obscure item in my opinion first off, something that I don't really know anything about, obviously I know it's some sort of plaque but that's about it, um, and you can see it's this wooden and possibly pewter or some sort of metal anyway plaque here um, and it's a German one I think it's German anyway I think that yeah it looks like it's German that language so um, yeah some language on there I, I don't know what it says at all uh, I don't necessarily quite know what the scene is depicting however the person here looks like he's in kind of quite old clothes um, I don't know the era, maybe like 16th, 17th century, but I don't know, I'm just guessing, but yeah, it's just really, really odd item, um, I paid £3 for it, really don't know what I'm going to list it, it's one of those items that you just kind of throw in at a random price, I guess I would probably go for 20 quid, something like that, and then if I need to come down, I'll come down, um, but you never know, I might want to go more than that, so I might do a bit more research, or I will do a bit more research into it, um, and you know, we'll just see, I might end up putting it on for a little bit more than that, I might, might have to go a little bit less than that but I would certainly say something like this I wouldn't be listening for less than 15 quid it's a nice looking little item this and potentially it could turn out to be something quite good so yeah three pound for that one there anyway the only thing that does kind of get me on it is that it might it, it's fairly well made but I don't think it's like incredible incredible quality so that that kind of puts me off thinking that it's going to be really really valuable but certainly there's going to be some money in it so yeah three pound for that pretty happy with that one so next we've got a pair of wooden candlesticks and these are actually quite nice They're, they were one pound each from that almost thrift store us kind of thrift store looking place i did a pan around so hopefully i will have included that in the vlog uh, and it is a lot bigger than a normal charity shop so it's almost like a small uh, thrift store in the us um but yeah so these were a pound each they're, you know, they're not brilliant, brilliant, they're not incredible quality or anything, but I'm guessing that I could squeeze around £12.99 plus my postage out of them, possibly £14.99, but I thought for a quid each, I'm not going to leave them there, they're nice looking little items, bread and butter items, so yeah, pick those up. Next, I got this Disney, and it is, you know, actually the proper Disney thing uh, on the logo there, don't know if it has a stamp, it probably does have a stamp somewhere, but I can't see it, oh, there it is, we've got Disney Store. 2015 uh, this was a pound now I don't know I've not researched this one I don't know exactly what it's going for I think these plushies have come down slightly in price more recently maybe getting a little bit more saturated over the past six or twelve months these used to be much better than they, uh, than they are now I think some of them you could get like 14.99 plus postage for on their own and some of them you still will be able to do that but a lot of them have come down a little bit more now with the market being more saturated. So I don't know exactly how much I'm going to get for this one. I'm possibly going to bundle it up though. I'm possibly going to wait till I get maybe a Mickey and then bundle it up maybe for something like 19.99 for the two plus my postage. Something like that I would assume. But I probably won't sell this on its own because it might be just about worth it for me. But I'd rather just bundle it up with a Mickey and, and get it gone that way and, and turn it into a slightly more higher value item. So yeah, there's that one there anyway. But for a quid, I wasn't going to leave it behind. So next, we've got another Disney plush. If I just turn that around there, you can see Disney. And then we've got the Disney stamp on there, which is what you want to look for. And who I recognise this as is the owl from Winnie the Pooh and I think I'm right saying that it does look like the owl from Winnie the Pooh um, and it seems one has gone for 12 quid plus postage something like that so I'm thinking probably go along those lines maybe 12 99 13 99 plus post but I'm going to go around those lines anyway and you see that I paid two quid for that one so I was quite happy to find that this was the first find of the day as well so I was more than happy to pick it up because I thought Finally, I've got an item because I didn't get an item from the first 
five or six charity shops and then I found this one and I thought brilliant and it was very funny actually because I had I was looking around and um, I had almost given up in that charity shop I'd pretty much given up and then I actually thought that as well I thought oh well it's not brilliant in here and I was going to walk out and I looked up and I just saw this and then I thought oh what's that and I found it it's odd how that worked really I'd pretty much given up but then I ended up getting something so that's pretty cool um so yeah two pound for that um, 12 99 plus postage as I mentioned so nice little bread and butter item there again so next I just picked this up because it's like a studio pottery um, I don't know it's almost a planter I suppose so £2 for this uh, quite interesting item obviously it's this kind of orangey colour um, orangey reddy colour and then it's got these leaves pattern around here and then it has just mark to it there, D-E, so it's just some sort of local potter you know from somewhere um, so yeah £2 for that Twelve ninety nine, forty ninety nine plus my postage, as I always say, is like a standard pricing with these. Eventually they will go. Uh, some of them take a little bit longer than others. You know, if it's a if it's a fairly nice one, sometimes it'll go up fourteen ninety nine plus postage fairly quickly. And then, you know, other ones, if they're not really that desirable, will take a while to go. And they might need to be knocked down to sort of twelve ninety nine. But they do go in the end, you just have to have patience with some of these items. It's not like video games, it's not like um, you know, real fast selling toys and games. These items you have to have a bit of patience on if you want to deal with them. Um, but if you have that patience, they will go in the end. And if you don't have that patience, sell something else. You know, go into a different niche because it's probably not going to be for you if you want a really, really quick turnaround on, on things like this. So, unless your price really low, I suppose that would that would probably get a quick turnaround, but you're sacrificing some profit there. But yeah, two quid for that one anyway there. Then I got a little EPNS tea set. Now, I don't normally pick these up from charity shops because, to be honest, they normally price them £10, £15, £20, something ridiculous around where I am. Um, so we've got a little... Is it, This is the milk jug here. I was thinking that was the sugar pot, actually. So we've got a little milk jug. Uh, does it have any actual makers on? I don't know whether it does. It just, just says Made in Sheffield, then EPNS or EP. Yeah, EPNS. Um, and then we've got the, obviously, little teapot here. Again, EPNS, Made in Sheffield. It's all the same set. And then we've got the, here's the sugar pot. Um, and yeah, we've got the sugar pot there. EPNS again. So I paid, where is it on here? I paid £4 for that. And I thought, you know what? For that little set, I'll pay four quid. I'm probably going to get 20 quid out of it as a minimum, plus my postage. Possibly even charge 25 quid if, you know, if I feel I can. It's not got a makers on it though. So obviously that means that I'll maybe charge a little bit less. If it had a makers on it and then I researched the makers and the makers turned out to be good, it could be any price. It could be, it could be really, really expensive. Or it could be maybe 40 quid or something like that. So, um, you know, because it's not got a makers on everything, maybe 20 quid, 20 25 pound plus my postage but i'm still happy with that from four quid and i'm glad i picked it up as well so you know fairly standard item but still a nice little sort of bread and butter item again i suppose and then finally something i am incredibly happy to see again i've not picked up one of these in oh my god must be 18 to 24 months it, like literally one and a half two years ago crazy i absolutely loved picking these up i used to see them all the time not seeing them in ages look at this bad boy yes it is a cassette tape holder and it's the 72 cassette version i'm just trying to get a better hold on it you know what my blooming left hand's like it goes all spazzy all over the place um so yeah, three pound on that bad boy as well for this lovely big uh, cassette tape holder. As you can see there, it is a wooden one. It's kind of like a chipboardy type wood. Um, I'm not going to hold it up because I'll probably drop it, you know, with this hand, and it's fairly heavy to hold with this hand as well. But anyway, three quid. Hopefully into around 30 quid, about 29.99 plus my postage. I looked on complete and sold. There has been one sold for that. I was a little bit worried that maybe these would have come down in price a little bit more um, as of as of late, but they haven't. They seem to be still pretty good. One I think has also gone for around 24.99 plus post, but I'm probably just going to shoot for the 30 quid plus post. So three quid into 30 quid plus post. That is what we like. That is what we're on. Um, and yeah, good margin on that one. You know, a bit more hassle to pack up, but to be honest, I don't mind doing it so long as I can get a good bit of bubble wrap around it and I can get a nice strong box to put it in. I'm more than happy. It won't take too long to pack up. They can get a little bit rickety, these, so 
Uh, what I might do is maybe tape those over just with a little bit of clear tape. It shouldn't damage it or anything. And then they're not like ricketing about in storage. I don't, I can't, in transit even. I don't quite remember how I used to pack these up. But I used to pack them up quite tightly. Well actually if I just put bubble wrap around it and then closed it in quite tightly. I suppose that would that would be fine anyway. So yeah anyway that's that there. So nice looking little item there. And that is everything. So I'll just put that there. Um, so yeah, quite a nice little day there. I was glad to get that item, that cassette tape. I'm really, really happy with that. I've wanted to pick one of those up for so long and I've just not seen them. I might have seen one or something in the last 18 months too. But if I have, they've probably not been a, a decent price to be able to pick it up and make money on it. So yeah, really, really happy with those items. Mainly a bread and butter day, but that's kind of how it is around the charity shops these days. I don't find that many sort of 50, 60 pound items. Yeah, okay, the Blambly Hedge thing that I just got and I sold for 70 quid and paid 15 quid for. And, you know, maybe once a month or so there'll be something like that. But not, I don't think as frequently as I did do. Um, and, yeah, I think more auctions and car boots and stuff are where you find more of those kind of high value items still. So, it, it, you know, it's nice to pick up the bread and butter stuff. But I would like to find a few more of them, slightly more gems in, in charity shops in the future. But, you know, if they're not there, they're not there. If it, or if I miss them, if maybe uh, my eye's not good one day and I just what happened to kind of walk out on one of them then then that's what happens as well so anyway i'll leave it there don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already like the video if you did enjoy this vlog and if you did like seeing my mum in the vlog then obviously drop a comment down below would you like to see more of her in the vlog i'm sure she would probably i was gonna say she'd probably hate it but Maybe she would hate it a little bit, but maybe she'd be alright with it. I don't know. But, yeah, drop a comment down below. Maybe I can kind of convince her to come into the vlog a little bit more. And, uh, and yeah. Anyway, I'll leave it there, guys. Thank you very much for joining me, and I will see you in the next one. So, see you very soon, guys. I will give you what I got. The alcohol of that is flowing wild. So, grab yourself a can of mine.